my slaves, Allah says. الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ Which of the slaves? That the ones who have crossed all lines and boundaries against themselves, the ones who have harmed themselves, the ones that have done severe harm to themselves, by living a, a life of sin, by living a life of hopelessness, by living a life of disobedience to Allah, by living a lifestyle that is harmful to them. But something beautiful that the scholars point out, Allah still calls them my slaves. Allah is still saying, you're my slaves. We still have a relationship with Allah. So Allah is speaking to the worst of the worst, the most sinful people, the ones that are walking on very thin ice. Ya ibadi, O my slaves, alladheena asrafu ala anfusihim The ones who have done severe harm to themselves. Allah said, gives them an instruction. He forbids something. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. La taqnatu min rahmatillah. Never ever in the slightest bit lose hope from the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah is saying that it is haram. It is not allowed for you under any circumstance to ever in the slightest bit lose hope from the mercy of Allah. Why? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala didn't just tell us something and not give us reason to believe it. Why? Because Allah will forgive all the sins. How is He capable of forgiving all the sins? Because He and only He most definitely he is al ghafur constantly forgiving and constantly merciful. Nothing is beyond his capacity or beyond his reach. Allah will and can forgive anything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful, so forgiving, so kind, so benevolent, that just in the Quran itself, in the book of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he talks about his ability to forgive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions three different attributes for himself in terms of forgiving that come from the same root the root word is ghafara which literally means to cover something up it means to forgive a sin as if it never even existed like it was never even there but he says this three different ways one place Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls himself ghafiru dhamb ghafir which means the one who immediately forgives another place Allah calls himself ghaffar Ghaffar, the one who abundantly forgives, the one who has no limitation in terms of forgiveness, the one who can continue to forgive, no matter how much the sins might be. The third attribute is Ghafur, constantly forgiving, immediately forgiving, abundantly forgiving, constantly forgiving. That's who Allah is. That's our introduction to Allah. In the rahmati sabaqat ghadabi, Allah says that my mercy in a hadith qudsi, Allah says that most definitely my mercy it encompasses and surrounds everything.